And welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do the Halloween haul for you because it is the most wonderful time of the year is coming up. It's September currently so in the shops there isn't much. Welcome boots everybody. There isn't much out in the way of Halloween decorations just yet because it's a little bit too early for some of the shops. However some of the places do have some decent decorations in already so before they all sell out I decided to go and get some things. Now if you are a Halloween kind of person you may have noticed that the best shop to get stuff from is HomeSense. So I went to HomeSense and got a few bits and bobs from there. And the stuff in HomeSense is always really nice and cheap. You can always find a decent bargain in there. So I thought it was worth checking it out and showing you what I found. I also went to the range as well because the range sometimes has some decent stuff in, but this time not so much. And maybe they might bring out more sort of when October comes around but at the moment they haven't really got much in and I also went to Poundland as well because Poundland has some of the best super cheap decorations so if you're on a budget uh, Poundland is your best bet for finding Halloween decorations so without further ado let's start unpacking this giant bag of stuff so first and foremost let's just check that we're in focus there so first and foremost, I am going to show you the stuff from Poundland. In Poundland, I bought just a few things. Let's get this stuff out of the bag so you can actually see it. I also bought myself some toffee crisps, which... The first thing that we've got here... Let's see if this will focus. There we go. So it's this cute little dome that has a skeleton in it and also a little cut out wooden tree um, and apparently it lights up but I think it's just got one little light um, behind it but I haven't uh, haven't put any batteries in it yet so I'm hoping that it will work but for a quid I thought that's a pretty nice decoration uh, I should say for all of these these stay in my house all year round it's not just a, a Halloween thing so that's item number one item number two or item number two and three I should say <laughs> these skull lanterns these again light up on their own. My cat's being really useful here, as you can see. So they come with the inside bit to put them together. If you've ever put together lanterns before, you'll know how to do this. So that's the front. Uh, he's double-sided actually. So you've got him on that side and also that side. In case of putting this in. And again, being super helpful putting this in down here, pulling it up and popping it over the ends. Thank you, that's that beast. I thought he was quite cute. We've got a Mexican themed hallway. So I thought I will pop him up and tie him. It comes with this handy piece of thread as well, but if you wanted to change the thread, you could um, change it to a different color, make it more gruesome, make it brightly colored if you wanted to. For a quid, I thought not too bad. Let's turn him around the right way. Yeah, pretty cool. He does light up as well, apparently. His light isn't on in there, but again, he needs batteries, which I didn't realise. But I will pop batteries in all of these and film them at the end so you can see what they look like lit up as well. The, the green one is pretty much the same. Saved you the, uh, the pleasure of watching me put that one together, but there we go. That's the green one. Very Mexican Day of the Dead style. Cheap. Lanterns, pretty good. I reckon if you were to get those in kind of like a, a trendy shop in Shoreditch, they'd probably be about eight quid each, so not bad, parent shop. I don't know how long they'll last. They might crap out after like two or three uses, but but thought they looked pretty cool. And then lastly from Townland, apart from my toffee crisps, which I'm definitely gonna eat later. I might eat one of them later, not all of them. Why are you always lying? There is four in a packet. I could easily eat four in a packet, but I won't. <laughs> Why are you always lying? And I got this inflatable eyeball. We went to go and see Katy Perry a couple of months back now and she had these amazing inflatable eyeballs that she threw out into the crowd. And don't judge me, Katy Perry's amazing. We saw these cool eyeballs and I really wanted one and uh, unfortunately all the kids got them because pff, apparently kids are meant to uh, take precedence over adults. I don't agree. Um, <laughs> apparently so at a Katy Perry concert. 
so I ended up not getting an eyeball. So I saw this today and I was like, yes, I'm gonna finally get myself that eyeball that I've always wanted. I'm gonna blow this up to... It's not as easy as you would think it would be. Oh, getting lightheaded. Also, the stopper won't stay in it. That might be more operator error than any, anything else though. I don't think it's down to the, the product itself. And now it's covered in teal lipstick as well. Look at this dude. It's easy to... <laughs> there we go. The beast is done. This is the new eyeball. You can see the reflection of my ring light there. Sorry about that. It's not like a, a round round eyeball. It's more like a a pillow but pretty cool and it's got a little hook in the top there so you can uh, hang it up from the ceiling as well if you wanted to so that's gonna go hopefully in the corner of my hallway so that's my plan okay next items the next thing I got was from from the range or was it from B&M bargains this one was from hang on two seconds this was from B&M bargains so it's a cute little skull jar and it's got a really cute black and orange straw to it as well. And it was only 1.49, which is a bargain. But I thought it's pretty cool. I really like the colors. We don't really need any more mugs in this house because we've got enough of them and not enough cupboard space. But I thought this was cute. Okay, so the next bag is the Home Sense bag and my God, is it heavy. <laughs> When I went up to the till to check out with this, the lady that worked there didn't explain to me that she didn't want the basket on the on the till. She wanted me to take everything out the basket and then hand it to her from there. So I said to her, I didn't realise you wanted me to do that because otherwise I wouldn't have bothered lifting that ginormous weight up onto <laughs> the till point because that would have been a pain in the ass. Um, well, it was a pain in the ass. So yeah, so it would have been nice if she told me that. So first things I will show you, so everything beautifully wrapped. I don't know why she bothered wrapping this because it's plastic. No shade on people that work in retail because you're amazing. I've worked in retail and it is <laughs> I'm sorry if, if you work in retail and you have to deal with idiots on a daily basis. I'm sure that lady just thought exactly the same of me. This is the first thing that I got and I've seen other people in Halloween groups online getting these but I thought this was pretty cute. So this is, I don't know if this rubber thing comes off it actually. That was me. I would make it so this came off so you could wash it properly. So this is just a reusable mug. Ta-da, nothing in it, funnily enough. It's just a little Halloween cutesy little cat mug. I thought that was super cute. Again, I will use that all year round. Okay, next item. Oh yeah, this is really, really cool. This is a mug with a moon on it. Moon mug. And then on the back, it's got Ouija board writing. So I thought this was quite cute and quite unique on its own. So I thought it was quite a, a cool thing to get. Again, we do not need any more mugs in this house, but I couldn't resist it because look how goth that is. It's pretty cool. The boots will appreciate all of this tissue paper as well. I can put some catnip in that later for her and she'll really enjoy it. Ah, oh, here we go. This is so cute. I couldn't resist it. So this is a cute little pumpkin candle look how nice that is it's so cute this is i don't know if it is actually pumpkin spice scented no nope, it is spice pumpkin funnily enough so it's a nice little little candle and it smells more kind of i'd say more vanilla-y rather than pumpkin-y but it's all pretty nice anyway um i'm not really one for for pumpkins as kind of all year round decoration because i think it's a little bit hackneyed no offense to anybody that really likes pumpkins they are cool but i think uh all year round it's just not for me but i thought this one isn't too kind of like bright orange in your face pumpkin-y style so i thought this would be a good one it'll look nice on my bookshelf so that is my plan okay on to the next thing this 
thing isn't really Halloween related at all but I just thought it was really nice looking so I'm a big fan of dark florals if you've watched my macabre London videos you'll see in the background that we have dark floral wallpaper in our living room so this kind of goes with our living room quite nicely and it is a candle by 96 so I don't know what that brand is I've never heard of them before but it just caught my eye and I thought it was really pretty and after I've used it then we can put some tea lights in it and continue using it recycle it and it smells amazing as well it smells um kind of quite fresh smelling and more kind of like quite shower gel kind of zingy sort of blue flowers kind of smell I would call it if that makes any sense let me know if that makes sense to you hopefully it does so I saw these on a shelf and I thought they were so pretty I don't know if the um if the light behind is gonna show that up that well but they are wine glasses and they've got gold skulls on them and gold rims and I just thought they were so nice and we don't have we've got like one wine glass and then the rest <laughs> like a margarita glass and a and a beer glass so I thought this would be quite nice to uh, to replace some of our non-existent wine glasses so I did get two of those this is the other mug that complements the the black mug so these two go together but I just thought the design on this was really cool so it's kind of seancey um, with a planchette and things on it I just thought that was really unique I've not seen anything like that before so I thought I had to had to get it and again it's got the Ouija board alphabet on the back and then because I am a candle fiend I also got another uh, salted caramel pumpkin candle it's not really my usual style but it smells amazing so I thought it was a, a good idea to get that one and I'll kind of hide it away somewhere <laughs> so it's a bit more inconspicuous than my usual decor because I don't really want it sticking out like a sore thumb because it's got that wooden top to it which is a bit too lumberjack for my liking that's the other wine glass in there I don't need to show you it's exactly the same as the other one and then this I picked up and I'm going to paint this because again it doesn't really go with the, the colour isn't the aesthetic of our house however the design of it is look how cool this is Ooh. this is a skull mirror but it's also got two candle holders in the top this is gonna hopefully go maybe in the bedroom because it's kind of more sort of Victorian style more gothic style which is kind of how our bedroom is I think I'll uh, repaint that possibly with some gold paint or maybe some black and um, yeah make it look pretty cool but that was 9.99 absolute bargain can't go wrong with that can you for 9.99 pretty damn cool a another pumpkin <laughs> candle because it is the most wonderful smelling time of the year as well as being the most wonderful time of the year full stop so this is pumpkin toffee and it smells quite maple syrupy um, which is nice but that's black and gold so that's totally our aesthetic so um, so that's why I got that one and that was $7.99 oh, and I meant to say these mugs as well they were $3.99 which is a, a bargain and the floral candle was $9.99 and this little fella was $2.99 and the pumpkin, I can't remember if I told you, but $7.99. And the wine glass, $3.49. And then there's another pumpkin and oud candle, because why not? And then I have saved the best pieces till last. So I have bought two of these and they are candle holders and they have a skull on the bottom and also in the middle bit I'm filming, you want to be in my video? No thank you, I'm in the shower I see you've got your yeah. that's nice <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to edit that bit out I think Why you always lying? Neil just came in and made an in inappropriate comment so I will edit that out so you don't have to hear it <laughs> Why you always lying? So this is the last thing that I got so this is a candlestick holder so it's got three um, candlestick holders you're a smart mother that's right 
<laughs> I don't know what you would even call those. Three orifices to put candles in? I don't know. I tried, didn't I? God damn it. At least I did that. Uh, so that's where, um, that's where you put your candles in, obviously. I picked up another one of these and it was just the skulls on their own, but then I saw this one which had the crow on the top and I thought, how cool is that? I don't even know where I'm going to put these. It's even got a skull on the bottom as well and also the cool little claw foot, so I thought that was was a cool thing to buy. So those were 12 99 each, so I got two of those. The woman when I was at the checkout, <laughs> she didn't care for me very much, I can, I can say, um, and so she decided to leave these on the countertop and didn't bother wrapping them. And so I said to her, is there any chance you can wrap these and put them in a bag, possibly? And then she kind of begrudgingly did, did that in the end. But yeah, they are quite heavy, so I can just kind of see her point, but also at the same time, wrap my damn sh**. So that's everything I got in my Halloween haul. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of this style of stuff, um, I know it is different to my usual macabre London stuff, then do leave a comment below. I love Halloween, so if you love Halloween too, leave me a comment because um, it's always nice to find people that like the same stuff as you. That's the Home Sense September stuff um, and also a little bit of the Poundland and a bit of the B&M bargains as well. So that's just some of the stuff that's out there at the moment. Um, I have to say I bought most of this kind of in the London area. So most of it will be in the bigger stores, I would have thought, because the stores that are here are quite large ones. So you might not be able to find some of it in some of the smaller stores, but I went into Home Sense today and they've got even more Halloween stuff out than they did last week. So, so it's worth getting there as soon as you can if you're a Halloween fiend like me. Thank you for watching. And if you did like this video, then do subscribe. I'll try and do more of this kind of thing in the future. And let me know what your best Halloween find has been so far this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.